with any other of your projects. These projects are year by year. We don't know what the priorities are going to be. The same thing has gone through all the heritage discussions. Hey, every heritage um, program is a one-year program at a time. Sure, it might take seven years to get it done, but we can give you one year to this year. Next year, you better come back and ask for your money again. Same with this. Under, if the department made a contractual obligation, that was a wrong thing to do. That was never the intent of the committee. The committee would never have seen that and would never have approved that other than, well, if it really looks good, maybe we'll keep going on until the end of your deal. Great. But it's a year by year, year by second deal. And we should never um, go ahead for any of these, these funds at all on this, not even the ones that are out there right now. That's encumbered upon the department to go ahead and cover those as they were never um, covered by any committee or any com of this commission nor the commission at any time. Thank you. Mr. McBeth. Um, is there anything in the provisions of the contract that tie to the source of the funding for the contract? In other words, is there anything in the contract that says um, the funds are to come from um, uh, predator management plan uh, and yeah, th with a f three to one match on the uh, uh, Pittman Robertson funds, or is it just a contract that makes no reference to source of funds, or are there any contingent provisions having to do with where the money's coming from? I need to understand that aspect. For the record, Pete Bradley, no, Doctor uh, um, Commissioner Macbeth, we don't, we don't, we don't have it split out like that. Commissioner Wallace. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We're going back quite a ways here to remember the exact. I don't remember there being a specific deal that said that it was going to be a contract with Utah State. The way I remember it was that the 25000 when we voted on it, it was based on if we didn't get the three to one matching, we were not going to fund it at 25000 for that first year. Beyond that point, I'm not exactly sure. That was, I was only on the uh, damage committee at that point, and then it switched over. And that was the way I understood it in, I guess it'd be fiscal year 10, that that was the only way that we would give the $3 money was if we got it matched three to one. And as far as I knew, it was matched three to one, funding went through, and we've been going down the road here. And now here we are, and I, the logistics in between there, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, to me, if we've made a contract with them, I I'm not against spending that money, but it's not exactly where we were in fiscal year 10 when we discussed this the first time. And uh, I'm sure there's a lot of things that have gone on in the last three fiscal years, but I mean, we've, we've started it. We've already put a pile of money in it for data. And if we cut it off now, we basically threw away everything we put into it. So that's kind of where I'm at. I, I, I would support going ahead and funding them, but that's my recollection is that it was supposed to be matched three to one. And somewhere along the line here, we've gone a little bit different path. But at this point, I, I, I hate to throw away what we've, what we've invested in it. And um, Kevin, at the time, that was what he said, was that we could get some data that is specific to Nevada and that we can use in support of our damage program. Commissioner Lane. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I, I would agree with Commissioner Wallace. I, you know, I'm, I'm a very big person who believes, I mean, I'm a person who believes in research. I think that's critically important to understand how to better spend these dollars, and I think we're three years down the road. Uh, we've got collars on a lot of these animals. We're getting data. We're going to get more data. I just think it's, uh, it's, it's not a good idea to cut this program off at its knees right now. I, um, I totally agree with Commissioner Wallace. Commissioner Morai. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, <clears throat> I, kinda, I agree with that comment. Uh, because I, I do think that, that to have a balanced approach to the predation management, uh, we have to do, we have to conduct studies to find out if, if we're going about it. If you look at the, at the way we, we've done predation management over the last 30 or 40 or 50 years, I know that we've had to change things that we've, we 
realized through studies that it didn't work or, or, or that, that a different approach needed to be taken. Uh, however, I think there's maybe a slight misconception that, uh, that maybe the department could clear up. I thought that you, you guys stated earlier that you could pull money. It wasn't like we're going to be cutting this, this project off at the knees. If we if we didn't fund it, and and that's why I, I I agree totally. The bills that we've paid already, we we have to live up to that. But there is other money available. This project doesn't die if we don't fund it at the full amount. Is that correct? Nobody. <laughs> Um, so we have a multi-year grant that was approved for the project. We have to submit annual budgets in order to tap into those grant funds. Uh, we did not submit a budget for this current fiscal year, so we can't get any grant funding for the current year, the current obligations. In future years, we could submit budgets and get 75,000 or 75% 75 of the costs reimbursed by the feds. It's still a valid grant. Um, I, I think um, there are other ways to fund it if it continues to be a priority for the department besides a $3 fee. And the contract is still valid through 2005. If we wanted to terminate the work, we could do that as well. I don't have this contract in front of me, but standard state contract language talks about termination for funding or whatever reason, usually with a pretty short notice. So it could be funded again with federal funds in future years and the $3 free fee or some other mix of funding. I mentioned general sportsman dollars earlier. Mr. McBeth. Okay, but to, just to elaborate on, on the fiscal year 2013, if because the budgets that have been put in place for this fiscal year uh, are already in place and already entrenched um, and take uh, the, uh, and assume that for this particular project the money is coming from the uh, predation management plan uh, at this point if we were to not approve those funds would there be funds in the budget for 2000 for the fiscal year 2013 to make up the difference uh, there would be no federal funds, but we could use general license dollars or, you know, general state funding. Okay, and my follow-up to that would be is, is that um, the $3 fee is sportsman dollars, um, the license fees are sportsman dollars, and the uh, uh, PR funds are sportsman dollars. And so, uh, you know, uh, I think we just need to uh, keep it where it is. This is what we did, and that's my position. Commissioner McNinch. Thank you. Um, just one, I guess it's anecdotal in a sense. Um, I've actually, I actually go out and spend quite a bit of time out in central Nevada about the time these guys are doing their work in July and uh, right there in Belmont. And uh, I've actually gotten to know these guys a little bit. Um, I know they're very engaged in their project. And this is just intangible information. And I, um, you know, they're, they're invested in their, their area out there. Uh, this money is probably uh, likely, um, I'm assuming some of it's a living expenses, it's going right back into that community out there, which is uh, by statutory law something, uh, one of the reasons why we, we do some of this stuff is that it's important for local economies. I mean, it's right there in our statutory language. So, um, you know, in that sense, it's uh, it's got more benefits than just the data that we're getting. I mean, it's actually kind of going back in. But uh, more importantly, um, 31000 spent. 54,000 encumbered that we know of. We're dealing with approximately $15,000 of which some of that may be encumbered already. We just haven't received bills for it. In the general scheme of things here, we're not talking about $100,000. We're talking about 15,000 and probably less for this fiscal year. And that's kind of my, my thought behind it. I understand the concerns behind it. Uh, those discussions, um, you know, are coming. I can see that, that you know, those those I, those discussions are coming, and I think that there's a time for that here in the near future. And um, I won't call for the question yet, but we're getting there. Final comment, and then I'll shut up on this item. And he's going to hold me to that. You know that. <laughs> this is not even a comment. It's a question. And that'd be to our director. What is your 
if if you could tell us, go, I mean, go ahead and tell us what do you think we should do on this item. I need some suggestion from you. You've looked at it. What do you think? Tell us what. Tell us what to do. We'll be damned if we do, and we'll be damned if we don't. That's my opinion on this. And I don't, I don't know how I could tell you any any different. I mean, this um, this has been a perplexing thing for me uh, as well. And so um, I think uh, as a gentleman, uh, we uh, entered into a contract. Uh, it's been some time ago. The honorable thing to do is continue with it. If, however, it has an impact on uh, the budget or uh, some other emergency things that pop up, um, you know, then I think there's precedence to, to make some changes. From the predator control funds, however, uh, I don't think that there is that uh, issue involved. Um, $100,000 uh, coming out of it, yeah, it's a big pot for sure. And uh, so uh, the issue really is uh, this is just a research. It's not taking out animals uh, that what this money was supposed to do. So... Um, I don't think I can give you any guidance other than that. Uh, it's uh, it's up to you folks. Okay, we running out of comments yet? Could you please restate the motion? It's been so long ago. If you could restate the motion so we know what we're voting on, I think that'll help us all out. Okay, I, uh, the motion was to to uh, essentially reaffirm our desire for the department to continue with project uh, 25, um, and that would include its associated staffing costs. Well, we're gonna address that issue separately here in a minute. So to, to reaffirm our desire uh, to continue on with project 25. All right, so we have a motion and a second. No further discussion, I'm gonna call for the motion. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Nay. Pete and Scott. Okay, we made it over that hill. Okay, so now I will follow up with uh, one last motion uh, to approve um, the endowed budget salary as proposed on page 55. Are we good with, uh, Rich, help me out here, are we good with, uh, should I just state $83,644? Uh, or up to? Somebody help me out here. I'm willing to. We're operating. Director Rich There's, asking this. Yes, they're also on this call out on this budget here. And if these guys want to correct me if I'm wrong here, but there's also a allocation here for in-state travel, mileage, and fixed costs. And I believe those need to be also be um, identified. Is it the end out total of 272,762? That includes stuff we already made motion on. Larry, is that correct? Okay. All right. Well, I'll retract my last messy motion, and we'll start start fresh here. Larry, did you have? Uh, yeah, Larry Gilbertson, for the record. If if you um, are not approving projects twenty seven and twenty eight, that means that there would be fifty two thousand dollars less in that two hundred seventy two thousand. So. Well, Larry, I think the question, we've approved the projects now, now we're looking at the salary, but you also have on this on this budget sheet um, allocation for in-state travel, mileage, and fixed costs. Yes, those, those down below, those are miscellaneous that go along uh, with the, mostly with the staff biologist work. So those would need to be approved also with the salary? They would if you're, if you're doing it piece by piece, but that, that end out total, it includes everything at they've 272. Already, they've already approved the project, so we need to not oh, okay. go that direction. So. Okay. Well, go ahead, Larry. It, so it's, essentially, it's, the amount that would cover it would be um, 220000 if you take out the 52 for those two projects. 
drops that total. There, the hundred thousand coyote studies in there too. Yeah, if if you left the coy the coyote study in there, it'd all be there. And you're not if you're not approving projects twenty seven and twenty eight, that's fifty two thousand, and that drops it down to two twenty. Let me throw out a motion that might might help. Go ahead. <laughs> and if it if it doesn't clarify it, we'll just drop it. All right. Would be motion to approve the game bureau, game bureau chief, staff biologist, administrative assistant salaries as are on our support material, and in-state travel mileage and fixed costs, but only so as they relate to the approved projects. I will second that. That makes sense to me. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion on that? And I, don't want, I need to make sure the department's clear on the motion. I'm not clear on the motion, so I want to make sure the department's clear on the motion. And that covers it. Because it would seem to me it would be cleaner to make a motion to approve a total budget of $220,762. That's redundant upon we've already approved a bunch of that. So rather than even stating the money, this, the numbers that are on the document for Game Bureau Stat Chief Staff biologist, administrative assistant, in state travel, mileage, and fixed costs. Is there anything else we're missing? I think that's it. All of those costs. Oh, and actually, there is an aerial surveys and other operating, as well as that under aerial surveys and other operating. Okay, so did you just in, amend your motion? Yes, in so far, and, and yeah, to, to add aerial surveys and other operating. And I would agree with the amendment. And there was always the caveat that as they, as, but only as they um, apply to the approved projects, which Sorry. would directly say that project any any associated costs of project 27, 28 would not be, would be excluded, whatever they may be. Essentially, you're approving the budget that supports the recommended projects. Exactly. Just because I think we're done with this item. Say that, Commissioner Truss. <laughs> Okay, so we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? <laughs> Seeing none, I'll call for the vote. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion passed unanimous. Anything else we need to do on that thing? Uh, it's 1220. We have some people that need to catch an airplane, and my wife just showed up about 100% on time. I hope you all like pizza because that's where we're eating so we can get right back to it. We're going to come back in 20 minutes. Pizza's in the back. You're on your own for your drinks.